Hello everyone, welcome to my tutorial on monster detection in MapleStory using OpenCV. In the previous tutorial, we are able to generate this green rectangle around the monster. Even though not all monsters are detected, we managed to detect two monsters in the screen. But as you can see, the rectangles are of different thickness. This if you see right here, the right hand side is thicker than the top and bottom. And if you compare the thickness of this rectangle and this rectangle, you realize that this right hand side is bigger than this rectangle. In this irregular thickness rectangle, they consist of many regular rectangles of equal thickness. However, there's a bit of clustering here, which resulted in the uneven thickness around the orange mushroom. The rectangles that are formed around the orange mushroom fulfills the conditions of having 0.48 threshold. So in this tutorial, I would like to make this, in this tutorial, I would like to group this cluster of rectangles together so that we will see one single rectangle with uniform thickness throughout. So before I start this tutorial, I would like to apologize because in the previous tutorial, I put it at template in underscore input dot shape bracket zero and one. However, it should be one and zero. So as shown in my previous tutorial, the arrays are split into y axis and x axis, where the y, where the first array is actually the height and the second array is the width. So after implementing this zip function, I was able to get it in such a way that we have x, y, x, y, x, y. So in this case, we should continue to use template underscore input dot shape one, and this will be zero, where position one refers to the W and position zero refers to the H. So we'll proceed with our part three of our tutorial. So template input, underscore input underscore w which refers to width will be equals to template underscore input dot shape bracket one and the height will be equals will be bracket zero the line color will be zero comma two five five comma zero so we are using a green rectangle for our line type we'll be using cv dot line underscore four so we'll, for, we'll create two new lists. One is called rectangles underscore list and the other call is rec. Create a for loop with using our locations. So our rec will equals to the integer of log zero comma integer of log one. We have our template input w and our template input height where we'll get it from here and here. So we will append this rack into the rectangle sleeve two times. This is because there's a tendency for the for a single lonely to disappear once we use the CV dot group rectangles. Actually, I learned this from another YouTube channel called Learn Code by Gaming, and I feel that he explained it very well in his video. So if you'd like to know more about it, you can go to his video to learn more about it. We will see what does CV dot group rectangles actually do. So according to the tutorial, group rectangles has three different arguments. Rec list equals to, refers to the input vectors of the rectangles. Group threshold actually refers to the minimum possible number of rectangles minus one. The threshold is used in a group of rectangles to retain it. So for example, if our group threshold is 1, and the small clusters contains less than or equals to 1, the whole rectangles are rejected. EPS actually refers to how much interception will be required for the rectangles to merge. So if it equals to 0 0.2, it means that the rectangle with more than 20% of overlapping will be merged together. So we will let CV dot group rectangles equal Bracket rectangle list, which we get earlier on, our good threshold will let it be 1, and our EPS will let it to be equals to 0 0.2. We'll create another for loop, which is called bracket x, y, w, h. 
x y refers to the top left coordinates while w h refers to the width and height of the rectangles that is generated from the group rectangles so basically it's similar to the previous tutorial whereby we will have our source input here our top left bottom right and then we will have our colors line type and thickness finally we'll be using cv dot I am show matches comma source input and we will have this so this is what we want in the end and uh, so as you can see between this and the previous tutorial we in this tutorial we have a single uniform thickness rectangle so with that this is the end of the tutorial if you have any questions feel free to leave it in the comment section below if not See you next time and thank you for watching.